The young and the restless spoilers remind that it's not a party until Jill Foster Abbott Atkinson gets there. On the other hand, Victor Newman knows that no business can launch without his magnanimous blessing, which is why he graces Lily Winters and Devin Hamilton with his presence and his advice. Finally, Jack Abbott is forced to play Peacemaker, which is the last thing he wants to do. Jill may have appointed Lily head of Chancellor, and Lily may have pitched the merger with Hamilton Winters, but we all know Jill is still the real power behind the throne. But just in case anyone still has their doubts, make way for the Queen. Victor is the savviest businessman in Genoa City. Even though he just got completely played by Ashlyn Locke. The first time when he agreed to Victoria Newman merging the company where father built with her new husbands, and the second time when he wrote Ashlyn a check for $500 million, and the guy is still in town, and Victor's daughter is still in love with him. Hell of an investment, Vic. When Victor offers Lily and Devin the benefit of his professional experience, we really hope he leads with that. Jack told Philly Summers that they were never, ever getting back together. And he told Diane Jenkins not to get too used to having pleasant lunches with him. He's still cranky over that whole fake your death and abandon our son thing. But what Jack didn't do was tell the ladies to keep their distance from each other. Which he tries to do now. With less than stellar results.